So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm going to show you how to import the study area shape file and calculate the land surface temperature temporal analysis for any study area so now let's get started so we're going to import our study area shape file and we're going to calculate our land surface temperature for that particular study area so now let's get started so now let me show you the shape file we're going to uh, upload into our earth engine so here, this is our RGIS interface. So this is the shape file we're gonna we're gonna upload into our Earth Engine. So you can able to visualize here. So let me show you the attribute table here. So here in the attribute table, you can able to visualize we have our FID shape and S name. So here the S name represents the state name for the country India here. So you can able to visualize the different state here. For example, let me select this particular state called Karnataka. So you can able to visualize we have selected the state called Karnataka and this gets highlighted in this shape file. So now we're gonna upload this uh, shape file into Earth Engine. So now let me get back to our Earth Engine. So now uh, to upload our shape file, first we're gonna navigate to this option here to the option called Asset. So in that, we're gonna navigate to this option called New. So in that, we're gonna click this option called in the table uploads, we're going to upload the shape files. So now to upload your shape file, first you have to click this option called select. So now it's navigate to your folder location. So now I have navigated to my folder location. So we have to select this allowed extensions that is SHP, ZIP, DBF, R, uh, PRF, that is PRJ and SHX, CPG and uh, FIX, QIX sbn or shp.xml so these are the allowed extension you can uh, upload you can upload the shape files so we're going to select those extension only so uh, first we have our so now we're going to select those specific shape files for example we're going to select cpg and next we're going to select the uh, dbf and next we're going to select prj and after that we can select uh, whether we can uh, we have to check sbn is available so as SBN is available, we're going to click this and uh, SBX, so it's not there and uh, we're going to select this Indian state dot SHP and uh, we're going to select this and uh, SHX, uh, it's not available here, it is available here, we're going to select this. So now we're going to deselect the uh, SBX, so SBX is not available here. So now we have selected all the shape files except uh, SBX extension. So now we're going to click this option called open. So the asset ID is, uh, it will be Indian states, India states. So once you've uploaded your files and uh, you're given your asset name, so you can navigate to this option here and click this option called upload. So navigate to the task option here. So you can able to visualize unsubmitted task. So the Indian states uh, has been uploaded. So now it is uh, it is uploading into our Google Earth Engine. You can able to see that here. So now here you can able to visualize in the task section our shapefile has been uploaded into our Google Earth Engine. So it took uh, less than two minutes to upload our shapefile into Earth Engine. So now we're gonna navigate to our asset section here. So we're gonna refresh it. So now we're going to check here where our shapefile is available here. That is India states been available here. So, so now here you can able to see that. So now to add this particular shapefile into our earth engine, that is into our uh, code editor, we're going to click this option called uh, import into scripts. So here you can able to visualize our shapefile has been imported into our uh, editor section. That is our, into our code editor. You can able to see that. So using this particular line of code, uh, we can able to access our this particular shapefile called India States. So, so in that particular uh, shapefile, we're going to select this specific uh, state called Karnataka. So now we're going to take a look at this particular shapefile. We're going to click this. So now uh, the details about this particular shapefile has been available. The file size is around 7.3 MB. And uh, we're going to navigate to this option called Features. So in the feature section, you can uh, able to visualize the S name here represents the different states in this uh, in the country called India. So these are the different states available. 
So in that we're going to select this particular uh, state called Karnataka. So to access uh, access that, so let me show you that in our code editor. So to access that particular state, we defined a variable called state boundary equals to table dot filter double dot filter dot eq s name. So we are referring with a specific uh, field called s name. So in the shape file, it is defined the s name is the state name. So with the specific uh, beginner state name with beginners uh, mention that this particular state called Karnataka. So now to uh, add this layer, we define map dot add layer state boundary. So we are referring to this particular variable called state boundary. So next to center this particular shape uh, that is state boundary, so we define the map dot center object state boundary with specific zoom level. So now we're going to calculate our um, modus land surface temperature or uh, temporal analysis for this specific uh, study area. So we have uh, uploaded our country state boundary and we're going to uh, analyze the land surface temperature for the specific state called Karnataka. So for that, we're going to import, uh, import our uh, modus uh, LST data. So for that, we defined a variable called collection equals to double e dot image collection modus 061 modus 11A2 dot select LST day one kilometer. So we're going to select this particular band call LST day one kilometer from our modus data. We're going to filter with a specific uh, time period. So for that, we define dot filter date 2019 January 1, 2019 uh, December 31st. So next, we're going to filter with a specific state boundary that is our country study area boundary polygon that is our Karnataka. So for that, we defined uh, filtered uh, filter bound state boundary. Next, we're going to define our visualization parameter for this uh, for this the land surface temperature data. For that, we define variable called land surface temperature vis, which represents a land uh, land surface temperature visualization parameter. We set with a minimum value of fourteen thousand and to a maximum value of sixteen thousand. We have set a color palette for this uh, specific data that is our LST data. We have selected a set of color uh, palettes for this data here. And next. Uh, to visualize an image for that is to uh, generate a mean LST uh, data for that particular year, we defined a variable called composite equals to collection dot mean function. So next to center this uh, particular uh, state boundary, we define map dot center object state boundary with specific zoom level of six. And next we're going to add this layer that is of a composite that is of a mean uh, LST of that particular year that is 2019. So for that to add that layer map dot add layer composite dot clip state boundary. So state boundary here represents our study area Karnataka and output the and we're going to set up a visualization uh, parameter that is land surface temperature which represents our visualization parameter and output the layer as land surface temperature. And the third step is to uh, to convert the LST that is to perform some pre-processing on our in the LST and convert from Kelvin to Celsius. So for that we defined a variable called LST day equals to collection dot map function IMG and written IMG dot multiplying 0 0.02 dot subtract 273.15 dot uh, copy properties image start system and start uh, end uh, system end time. So this particular set of code uh, which converts our Kelvin to Celsius. So now to display our annual LST variation, we defined uh, a chart that is a variable called chart equals to UI dot chart dot image, the DOI series by year and LST uh, day. We are uh, using this particular uh, band that is LST day one kilometer. And this is our study area boundary that is state boundary. So next we are using doubly dot reducer dot mean function and a thousand here represents a spatial resolution of our the modus LST data. And uh, to visualize the result, we define print chart. So now uh, let us run this code. Go to the option called run script and click run script. So now let us visualize the result. So here in the console section, you can able to visualize our uh, graph here. Let me show you that. Let me expand this. So here you can able to observe here. So in the y axis, you can able to visualize the temperature is in, uh, in degrees Celsius. You can able to visualize it. So starting from 28 degrees Celsius to 44 degrees Celsius for the specific study area. So for the year of 2019, so this uh, 25 to 350 represents the day of the year. You can able to visualize 
the highest level of temperature being observed in this uh, days here starting from 50 day 52 up to uh, day uh, 150 the highest level of temperature being recorded in this uh, days of this particular year in 2019 the highest recorded temperature for this study region is there uh, So here you can able to visualize here the highest level of temperature being observed in this year. It is, uh, is around 43 degrees Celsius in the year 2019. You can able to visualize it in the day uh, between 100 to 125 day, uh, 25th day here of this particular year. The highest level of temperature is being observed to be 43 degrees Celsius. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So here you can able to visualize from the graph here, that is from the map here you can uh, able to see here the high, highest level of temperatures being indicated in uh, indicated in red color and the lowest level of temperatures being indicated in green color and the moderate level of temperatures are indicated in in yellow so towards the northern uh, northern part of the study area we have uh, we have the highest level of temperature being observed compared towards the western part of the study area has a very low amount of temperature you can able to visualize it the green color indicates the level, lowest level of temperature and compared to the red color here indicates the highest level of temperature being observed in this study area that is the state called Karnataka. So in this video I have shown you uh, how to import the study area shapefile and calculate the land surface temperature temporal analysis for, for any study area. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.